preview of the Western Conference Finals. First place, San Antonio coming to second place, San Diego. The best defensive team in the league. It's the highest scoring club in USL. Two of the best out west tonight from Torero Stadium. Brought to you by San Diego Pride. Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. Jack Cronin, Sal Zizo with you here tonight. What a matchup we have as the two best in the west. A rematch of the playoffs a year ago. Meeting here tonight atop the table. Brought to you by the Pride app. Yeah, you see one, two in the standings. San Antonio having allowed the least amount of goals, 15 goals all season. San Diego Loyal scoring the most, 49 goals. It's going to be a real fun one tonight. Both teams are on an incredible roll over their last nine. That includes for San Diego, a 3-2 victory against the defending champions, Orange County on the road. Yeah, another huge win for San Diego here against the former champions last season. San Diego coming back two times here. You see Charlie Adams. Lovely ball to Thomas Among. That's his second assist in the game. And then you got Evan Conway, who just has just won games for San Diego Loyal this season. He's had three game winners, including this one, past the, tenth, uh, the last 10 minutes of the game. Incredible finish for San Diego, 3-2. Speaking of Charlie Adams, the captain for San Diego, he is the chosen foods player to watch here tonight against this club, going against San Antonio. Charlie Adams sometimes doesn't get credit for all the work he does in the middle of the field, but he's starting to shine a little bit on the score sheet this season. He had two assists last game, mostly on set pieces. He's lethal. Three goals on the year. Starting laps are brought to you by Rainy Children's Hospital for San Diego. Kyle Vassell is back in the 18, available off the bench. This is the lineup for Landon Donovan. Yeah, no, nothing too different here. Of course, you got some firepower off the bench with Vassell and Moshe Bonney, who, when they have played, have produced. But so far, a lot of the players in the attack for Loyal have produced this season. So it'll be up to San Antonio to keep their clean sheet streak. Well, nine shutouts is the total personally for Jordan Farr in net. The defense only allowed three goals in the last eight matches for San Antonio. Defense first for this great club. Yeah, and obviously Jordan Farr, the quarterback of this team, leading the league with nine clean, clean sheets and the team as well with only 15 goals allowed. I mean, this defense has been outstanding. Something's got to budge tonight though. And their full lineup here for San Antonio, fastest team to 50 points in 21 matches tying Orlando City from a decade ago. Yeah, and you see this is just a solid defensive lineup. You're not going to see this team have very much possession tonight. A team like Loyal who likes the ball, both teams are going to feel comfortable with the style of play. Both teams are on an incredible run the last two months. San Diego with 21 points in their last nine matches. San Antonio with 23. They're unbeaten the last two months. This should be an incredible top of the table battle here tonight. Coming your way from Torero Stadium, San Antonio and San Diego. that were just so perfectly Dad, look. summer. Brian, come on! The people, the places, those moments are still out there. I'm Brian. Waiting to be found. Ready, Brian? Summer won't last forever, so make the most of it during Toyota's national sales event. Now you can lease a powerful yet fuel-efficient new Camry for just $3.29 a month. And like every new Toyota, it comes with Toyota Care no-cost maintenance. Come in today. Toyota, let's go places. It's time to get moving with the financial partner that's here for your journey. From small steps to big milestones, USE Credit Union is here for you. With tools to help you bank fast, solutions to help you go far, and a team of dream makers that's ready to help you step forward with confidence. USE Credit Union.
San Diego and San Antonio, a rematch of the playoffs last year. First ever appearance for San Diego, but it was San Antonio who came away with the victory in the postseason a year ago. Yeah, and it was the last game that I was a part of in a San Diego Loyal jersey, so there is a bit of revenge tonight, but it's a new season. It's a team that's allowed the fewest goals this season in San Antonio, and it's San Diego Loyal's high-powered offense scoring the most goals in the USL. This is going to be a fun one. An incredible matchup here tonight. Santiago Patino, who scored in that playoff matchup last year, is the second leading scorer this year for San Antonio, is out on red card suspension tonight and not available. We are underway. San Antonio in the white kits. And it's the Tory Green for San Diego Loyal here tonight from Torero Stadium. These are two of the hottest clubs in all of USL, two of the best in the standings, the two best out west. San Antonio reaching 50 points. Only one other team in USL history has done so in their first 21 matches. That was Orlando City in 2012. Over the last nine, San Diego is 7-2. Over the last nine, San Antonio is 7-0-2. Yeah, and you have to understand these two-team style of play. You'll get San Diego Loyal, who's leading the league, or top three in the league, with 55% possession throughout a game. But then you have San Antonio, who has won games with 32% possession at times. They average 43% in a game, which is the lowest in the USL, but they're still getting wins, they're getting shutouts. And so that you're gonna see San Diego have the ball a lot. You're gonna see San Antonio not have the ball. And you're gonna think, wow, San, San Diego's all over them, but it doesn't tell the whole story. San Antonio's used to it. And uh, yeah, both teams are gonna feel comfortable and it just depends on who, who at the end of the day is gonna stay more focused. An incredible contrast in styles here tonight. Our first reset and set piece opportunity from Jack Blake and Charlie Adams for San Diego, and it'll be Blake who fires this one in. Headed away and then cleared for San Antonio. We're gonna get a whistle and it will go back to San Antonio. So Sal, again, these two style, styles are absolutely opposite of each other. San Diego, 49 goals on the year. San Antonio's only allowed 15 of them. But as you said, it's not necessarily the whole story in terms of possession or goal scored. It's the, it's the style of play. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, San Antonio is very, very comfortable not having the ball. And not only that, but, you know, when they get the ball, it's they're not trying to keep it. They're trying to go route one, one or two passes, get down the field, get an opportunity. And so there's just a lot of transitions in a lot of the games that they play in. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see which team budges. Two of the best teams in the entirety of the USL. Six, 16 victories for San Antonio, 13 for San Diego. 50 points against 43. And it's that quick counter. It's not a full weight, Sal, you were saying beforehand. In playing against them, in studying them, and looking at them this year, it's not a full weight and then counter. It's a quick counter team. Yeah, it's it's one, two, three passes, get the ball forward, try to score as quick as possible. I mean, that that's part of the reason why their possession numbers are so low. And, and at the same time, they're not necessarily letting the other teams get into these long possession spells. It's more of a transition. It's six or seven passes, and then they're using only one or two, and they're going to goal. And then it's another six, seven passes, and then the other they're winning it again. So. San Antonio is used to this. Look, they have the, they're used to having 43% possession. They won the playoff game last season with only 32% possession in that one. And so Loyal's going to have the ball. They're going to feel comfortable in what they do. San Antonio is going to feel just as comfortable without the ball. It's Connor Maloney who is down here, former member of the Columbus crew. Alejandro Guido picked up a yellow card for San Diego right before all of this stoppage very early on, first couple of minutes of this match tonight from Torero Stadium. Yeah, Maloney just going for a clearance, and I think Guido just came up with his cleats, and Maloney just ends up full swinging it into his shin, or rather, the bottom of Guido's cleat into his shin. So here's Jordan Farr. Nine shutouts of the season, former member of Indy 11. 
three goals in the last eight matches for San Antonio. Incredible run. Masamang, a nice feed from Guido. But quickly, there's that defensive look. Three San Antonio defenders collapsing upon Amang right on the attack. You see the size of these San Antonio players. You know, they have a 6-5 forward, another 6-5, 6-3 defenders. They're big, they're strong, they're athletic. Plays into the style that they're so good at. Injury Report is brought to you by Rady Children's Hospital. As we told you, Patino is out on a red card suspension. By the way, worth noting that either PC or Mitchell Tainer, who's in regard as an MVP candidate, pick up a yellow in this match, they'll be gone for the next match because of accumulation. So that's for San Antonio for the future to consider. And for San Diego, it's almost back to full strength with Kyle Vassell now. Sal in the 18 available off the bench after that shoulder injury three games ago against Colorado Springs. Yeah, and it's, it's just nice to see him back, whether it be, you know, obviously not in the starting 11, which, you know, I can bet you're going to see him tonight, but he's such a key factor for Loyal, especially in their attack. He's different than, you know, any player that Loyal has on his roster. He's big, he's strong, he's brilliant at finishing with both feet. So it'll be nice to have him back for Loyal. You know, again, looking for a mom. This is going to go back the other way. Among with eight goals on the season. Whistled there. And part of the reason why San Antonio has only allowed 15 goals is how organized they are. I mean, no matter how big, strong, athletic they are, I mean, staying with Among, who's one of the fastest players in the USL, it's earning the foul right there. But they're just so much more organized for a team that has such low possession. Jorge Vegas out off his line for San Diego. A very nice season. La Liga experience coming here to the USL. Guido looking ahead for Conway. Into the top of the 18. Conway with the left foot. And we taken down by Jordan Farr. South's been a nice start for Alejandro Guido. Speaking of MVP candidates, this guy put his name in the conversation. Mitchell Tainer for San Antonio. Guido has played so well this year. A number 10 role for San Diego. That doesn't surprise me. A defender for San Antonio and a attacking player for Loyal. Yeah, that's the kind of season has been for these two clubs. They're atop the table out west. First look here, the flag is up. Samuel Adinarin, who's got five goals on the year. Or a member of the Seattle Sounders. And by the way, San Diego, who's seen them with Tacoma, making that run at 6'5", 200 at the top. The attack for San Antonio. I mean, and you're right, Sal, to highlight things, I mean, these are the numbers for both San Diego and San Antonio. The attacking versus defensive numbers are incredible. Yeah, it's really just a, a, a crazy contrast. I mean, it's it's kind of like, you know, who, who is going to budge? I mean, a team is going to score goals. And, you know, if, if it's 0-0, I think San Antonio did their job. If it's 4-4, then kind of Loyal did what they were meant <laughs> to do. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, how this all plays out. And, and Loyal hasn't tied a, a game at home this season. There's just so many stats that play into this that, you know, show you how, how fun and exciting this game should be. San Diego's averaging 2.2 .2 goals per match. San Antonio, 0 0.7 given up. Yeah. It's... That's the difference. Kyle Adams winning possession ahead for Among. Mitchell Tanner wearing the number three. Four goals on the season out of that back line. Guido. Yeah, 
Grant Stoneman, who scored his last time out, his second goal of the year. Speaking of defenders, putting one in the net. And he picks up the whistle there. And I think Loyal is going to have to match San Antonio physically. Uh, I think San Antonio is a team that part of the reason why, you know, they're they're not such a possession-based team is, you know, as I said, a lot of long balls, a lot of balls over the top, a lot of battling, you know, fits their profile as players. And Loyal is such a, you know, smaller possession-based team, and they have to match that physically, whether it be in the run of play and on set pieces. Fabian Garcia will restart things for San Antonio. Far side. Tanner kept it in play. Back for Loyal. Sal mentioned the possession numbers, too. The huge contrast. Our statistician Sean Kelly, the virtual stat man beforehand, saying 43% for San Antonio, 55% for San Diego. Those are the averages on the year. Third highest. And USL for San Diego, lowest in the league for San Antonio. But almost like a, a possession number in American football, something you can throw out because they attack in such different ways. Yeah, it's football or soccer, as I shall say, is, <laughs> is very, there's so many parts of the game, and, and possession is just another one of those numbers that doesn't, Always tell the story. You can buy the newest SD Loyal gear, including kits, the Charlie Collection, some unique designs you can't find anywhere else. It's all at the shop. Get online today, theshop.sdloyal.com, or visit the shop in person in Mission Valley. Cross coming. Back to the top of the 18. Garcia. Has to be sent long. Just kept in. He'll be out, actually. With the flag up, an offside call well down near the touchline. At a dinner on, didn't. Didn't come back in time there. He should have started coming on, knowing that the cross was coming, but was a little lazy to to get back and ended up with him being offsides. San Antonio. Force possession. Back for Elijah Martin. And something you see here is Elijah just, to, he's gonna maybe throw it in to. Yeah, at times like this, you know, Loyal has worked on in practice where, you know, Elijah or on the other side of the field, they'll, they'll just throw a little toss to, to Charlie Adams' left foot and let him just curl it down the field. And it's mainly because don't want to have you don't want to lose possession in your end Nick Moon making the run for San Diego Moon still got it Guido across for among it's a great run from Nick Moon possession still with San Diego Martin played ahead a dinner in and this is out for San Diego Much different feel, Sal, to this one. Obviously, the stakes are higher. It's two of the best teams in all of USL. But it's also those those contrasting styles. These sides are trying to figure out what's going on. Yeah, and, and to not get lost in all this, it, it's one versus two. So yeah. I mean, what you're 
what you're trying to do if you're loyal. I mean, you, you still do have an outside chance of, you know, getting into that first spot. And this game is huge because, you know, they're at 46, you're at 40. If you can just get, you know, in that echelon, you can start to put pressure. It's uh, potentially, a, you know, a six point swing, as they say. And the first place club gets a first round bye in the USL playoffs. The only team that gets a bye is the first place club. Top seven in the Western Conference make the playoffs. And only the first place team will earn a bye. That's where San Antonio yeah. sits right now, seven points ahead of San Diego. Cross back over, but clear. Yeah, if they can, if they can get that win and, and get within four, you know, it's still, you know, j just two thirds past this season so far, you know, there's still a high, very good chance. If you lose this game, you're, you know, now you're 10 points back and it's, it's definitely not looking as good. Stutter step move here, long range. Coca Vegas off the post, gets a hand on it. And Vegas will track it down for San Diego as Connor Maloney goes from outside the box. Yeah, and Connor Maloney does does well to, to make something out of this. You know, just puts it in a good spot, low and hard, and Coke Vegas did, did well to deal with it and got a little lucky off the post. That's how fast San Antonio can create opportunities, not being a possession team, create those kinds of options. Yeah, I mean, if you, if you study some of the goals San Diego Loyal has scored this year, I mean, they're at times they've been things of beauty and San Antonio can look like they're not really into it and then all of a sudden like this, create a very good chance. A dinner in out wide, high with a left foot. Looking for his sixth of the season, 13 a year ago in USL and a dinner in. On loan from Seattle in the MLS ranks, comes up Byron. Yeah, just hits it over here. But that just comes from a throw in, and I, I think Loyal needs to be a little bit more focused when the ball goes out of bounds with the high pace that San Antonio like to play. You can't have a ball go out at half and then the player just chest it down and turn and go on a 40 yard sprint to, to then get a shot on goal. Blake sending ahead for Conway. Sal said Evan Conway with four game winners for San Diego, three of them after the 80th minute. And a lot of those coming on as a sub too. Conway has been electric. And that includes the Orange County win up in Irvine. Last time out, here's Moon making the turn. Adams with a left foot and he creates the corner for San Diego. Corner kick brought to you by San Diego Community Power. And Loyal will have the opportunity. And to touch back on Evan Conway, all, all three of those game winners have been away from home, which you know isn't the easiest sometimes <laughs> to, environment to play in. And so he's hushed a lot of crowds <laughs> lately this season on the road. At Tampa, at Colorado, at Orange County, all 80th minute or later. Short for San Diego, back for Blake. Sending in low. Conway had a chance at it. Now a dinner in, off to the races. Dinner in at 6'5", 200. Seattle Sounders loaned here to San Antonio. And San Diego was able to recover. Manley. And Adams, after it was well defended by Blake, take the rebound out wide again. Nobody home on the cross. Yeah, something Loyal has been able to do all season is, is really just get production from pretty much any attacker that they've put on the field this season. I mean, Among has some goals, Conway, Alejandro Guido, even Charlie Adams has pitched in. And then, you know, you have two guys on the bench who are basically leading the team in goals and Tumi Moshibani and Kyle Vassell. So they've been able to produce. Guido getting back defensively. Mo 
Well, Shabani with his six goals, and Vassell with his 10 are available for Landon Donovan. With the whistle here. Two of the top three scores for San Diego yeah. available off the bench. Yeah, I think Elijah just pulled a little too hard there and obviously pulled him down. I think that's the right call. Garcia again out of France. Low cross headed away by Elijah Martin. It's Colin Martin who gets in on the act as well. Garcia again, this time in the run of play, but Vegas will be there to take it down for San Diego. Single match tickets are on sale now. They start at just $12, including the next home match at Torero Stadium. That'll be Wednesday of this coming week. Just four days from now, quick turnaround Wednesday night against Monterey Bay FC, the expansion club in USL from the Central Coast. SDLoyal.com slash tickets for more info. Starting at just $12, including Wednesday night here at Torero Stadium. First time San Diego has seen Monterey Bay. Elijah Martin. Adams for Blake. Sending it in, Far will take it. And you see here, I mean, San Antonio, San Diego just enjoyed a little spell of possession and the goalkeeper gets it and He's all right with just trying to hit. I didn't turn her on on the run there. Adams will be pushed. We're on to the 22nd minute. The first 15 minutes saw 62 38 possession in favor of San Diego. Yeah, as, as expected, right? But each side had their opportunities. Things off. So, yeah, with some crisp ball movement here, very sharp with their passes. Oh, nifty move from Guido and Conway. He's got it back. We'll be trying it one more time. Stoneman, Conway finds himself top of the 18. Blake. Seven up to the left foot. And wide right. Blake just pulling this one, but you know, something San Antonio is good at and is a lot of a lot of players, you know, that are very good at creating a goal on their own. They're good at shutting those type of players down. And I think Loyal, if, if they are to score, it's not gonna maybe say, you know, necessarily come from an individual talent and an amazing run by a player. I think it's going to be from a combination of five or six passes, which, you know, we've seen the Loyal be able to do uh, on a lot of different occasions this season. Fans, the wait is over. SD Loyal's 2022 home, away, and Siempre Leal kits are all available now. Visit theshop.sdloyal.com to get yours today. Theshop.sdloyal.com. All three kits available here for 2022. Namong taken down, and we'll get our first card for San Antonio. It's Garcia who picks it up. Each side has been delivered one so far here in our first 24 minutes. Yeah, Mong is just so quick with that first touch it, where, you know, sometimes center backs will bite that the attacker's just going to maybe take his touch with them further back. You see his first touch is just to the side right there, and 
he's able to do that in the Orange County game, which resulted in the game winner for Evan Conway. And he's been able to show that time and time again. And Long again is knocked to the turf. Brendan Stebbis is our referee tonight. Only two reds on the season for him. Yeah, that's a, that's a good thing if you're <laughs> watching a loyal game. <laughs> right. San Diego's had plenty both for and against. Yeah, some red card action. Sending it across. It's Ramoon will pick it up. Moon taken down. Oh, it's going to go the other way. I guess we'll go to San Antonio. Yeah, and we'll have to see that again, but that's just one, very good. 1v1 defending against Nick Moon is very shift. Quick player. Yeah, he did. He did get a little, little bit of him there. It's tough to, you know, it's tough to make a determination either way. But the ref certainly has a better view than we do up here. And Brendan Stebbins is one of the more measured officials in USL. So not quick with the card or the whistle. So it would let the game move from there. Still nil-nil. Yeah, and that also, you know, adds to a little bit to this game because San Antonio is a very physical team. You know, the game last season in the playoffs was a very physical game. And so it's just going to add a little bit extra to this game. And you may see some tempers flare. Yeah, there, there was a, a little bit of contact. I think, you know, maybe he thought he thought Nick Moon went down a little bit too easy there, but there certainly was something. Corner for San Antonio. Whipped in toward the back post. Elijah Martin will take it down for San Diego. out of Brazil, only Vancouver, the Whitecaps and MLS. Great back line. Dinner in. San Diego's back line is dealt well tonight. You see their line moving very in sync. Martin, Adams, and Stoneman have all won plenty in the air. The 50-50 attempt. Here is Guido on the rebound. Yeah, I think Guido just tripped on that ball there. Dinneran's making a run now to the flag. In the corner, sending it back over. Martin does well to defend. Back for Manley. Chippy and out to Vegas. Yeah, Vegas does, does well to come out strong there. I mean, just look at the numbers that San Antonio gets behind the ball so quick. You know, they just had a somewhat of a chance at the other end, and now eight of their players are already behind the ball. combination of the discipline, the size, the physicality for San Antonio. 
the best defense in all of USL. Moon. Looking for a cross. Also Colin Martin. Come on. Now with a turn, right to near post and far takes it down. Now Rocket League's been reimagined for mobile devices. Hit the pitch, one on one, two on two. Easy to pick up and play from anywhere now. You can scan the on-screen QR code. Download Rocket League Sideswipe here today. Among was looking near post for San Diego. The sun setting here over Mission Bay in San Diego. So now the entire field back in consistent lights as Martin goes long range here. Colin Martin had a couple of those in his career from about that angle and it goes wide. Yeah, I think he just missed it. He got to really come across the ball there and he ended up just topping it. Martin assuming the defensive mid role this year and has played so well. Yeah, and, and honestly, he's he's not one that's, I think, been talked about enough for yeah. all the success that San Diego Loyal has had. He's just been a staple in there. I mean, you can count on him health-wise to, to be there and puts in a great shift every 90 minutes. Just probably the most consistent performer on the field. He starts this run now, Keto Ahead for Among. Into the box. Among. And just why? Fabian Garcia, Jordan Farr there to defend Among. What a beautiful build up from San Diego. Yeah, just great two or three passes here. Ball over the top. Good first touch from Among. Just gets away from him a little bit, and it's just good defending there in the end. The situation he was dealt, he was able to get himself back in it. And the only way Among could get a hold of that was to pretty much hit it wide. Tomas Among. Cameroon, the second leading scorer for San Diego this year with eight. Just before the season coming over to trade with Colorado Springs. And has been incredible up top, whether it be in the starting role or even a reserve role for San Diego this year. I think you could say that's maybe the trade of the season for, for yeah. all of USL. I mean, not many trades happen in the USL, but that certainly has to be up there as probably the best. And among his top 15 in USL in scoring. What a difference he has made. One went out, so it will be possession for San Antonio. San Diego's coming back home on Wednesday, this coming Wednesday, the 10th, 7 p.m. Monterey Bay FC is coming here to Torero Stadium. Tickets start just $12. They're on sale right now. SDLoyal.com slash tickets, 858-465-GOAL. SDLoyal.com slash tickets. First ever meeting with Monterey Bay. Here's Martin trying to spring among ahead. Come over to close that down. It's Mitchell Tanner. Good positioning from Mitchell Tanner there. Coming all the way back from the left center back roll to close it down on the right side. Immediately they got the ball to a dinner in just outside the 18. So that's how fast the counter can come from San Antonio. Adams knocked down. It's PC. San Diego using Coca Vegas out beyond the box. He's been great this year with his feet. Yeah, he's looking like a outside center back there. You see him just almost playing parallel to, to Kyle Adams. It's been an added dimension that San Diego had not seen their first couple of years. It allows Grant Stoneman to just, to just play higher and occupy a higher role and just get more numbers forward. It's an extra 18, 20, 25 yards of possession.
This is Toyota Electrified. Experience the RAV4 Hybrid Electric with its incredible driving range and Toyota Care no-cost maintenance. We make it easy. Toyota, let's go places. Thirty-fifth minutes, deadlock here between the two best teams in the Western Conference. Long for Moon, stays with it. Beautiful give and go with Charlie Adams, back for Moon. Guido, and they're gonna call him for a handball. You know, I'm reluctant to say that, you know, San Diego has, has been the aggressor and looked like the better team because San Antonio, this is this is what they do. You know, they, they don't always look like they're totally in control, you know, to the eye, but but they feel like they are. And you know, they scramble, they fight, and they they keep those shutouts and then they, they get those late goals or they get those early goals and then ride the shutout and so again, it, as much as it looks like Loyal is, is dominating this game, and, and in a sense they are, it's it's right where, it's right what San, San Antonio is used to. This is the way San Antonio has gotten to 50 points, fastest team to 50 points in 10 years in USL, tied for the most points, the first 21 matches ever. Guido. On the turn here at Shannon Gomez. Aguido gets it back. This will go to San Diego. Conway. And they'll play it all the way back to far. Celebrating their 75th anniversary, Select is proud to be the official match ball supplier of the USL Championship. Choose what you play at SelectSportAmerica.com. Select, it's the player's choice and the league's choice. Adams, back for Among. Oh. Set of play, and Among was actually the one hit with it. Yeah, and Charlie, Charlie Adams. I think he's just trying to hit a curling ball to the back post, one that kind of curls away from the keeper there. And would have been tough to see where that would have landed, but I think by the by the looks of his reaction, I think he liked how he hit that. Again, our first 30 minutes, possession was 66-34, San Diego, as is expected. Though San Antonio had the only shot on frame in that first 30 minutes. San Diego's had a couple of opportunities. Conway! And three defenders immediately collapse upon him, that San Antonio defense. Yeah, they're just, they're, they're just able to get so many numbers behind the ball and you often wonder sometimes where these guys <laughs> come from. I mean, Maloney's playing so high up the field that I see him making tackles, you know, at the top of his own 18 and these guys really know how to work together as a team. PC went for the long range chip shot, sailed over the crossbar. Yeah, it's that recovery, obviously the, the size and physical strength of San Antonio, but the recovery ability. Yeah, and you mentioned that the discipline is, is in my opinion, from, from what I've seen, and is the tops in the league. I mean, and that's what obviously has catapulted them to, to the top in the, in the West. Fabian Garcia is already sitting on a yellow card and was holding Tomas Among that time. So he will have the restart. Moon, on the run. Okita was trailing the play. That's the kind of opportunity San Diego have been looking for here. Colin Martin is taken down. This will go out of bounds to Loyal as Martin was taken down back in the initial collision. Yeah, I'm glad to see him get up quickly after that. A lot of, a lot of grass got taken out right there from that slide tackle, but 
Yeah, Loyal's having a bit of success down this left-hand side. I think there's been some good combinations between Among and Nick Moon. He's, he's been very active, putting in some dangerous crosses. I would say that's that's been a bright spot, this left side. This is the initial collision with Martin, but he popped right back up, and it's great to see. Coming up, USL and ESPN. Orange County and Sacramento. What a season for Sacramento in the U.S. Open Cup onto the finals now. That'll come up on September 18th. Two Pacific, five Eastern, ESPN2. It's the reigning title holders, Orange County and the USL Open Cup finalists. Sacramento matchup, September 18th, 2 p.m. Pacific time, five Eastern on ESPN2. Yeah, and that's going to be a fun one to watch. It's, it's great for the USL as a league, Sacramento Republic, going to the finals of Open Cup, facing Orlando City, former USL team, turned MLS. Orlando was the last one to get 50 points in their first <laughs> 21 matches, what San Antonio has done this season. Yeah, it all comes full circle, doesn't it? What an opportunity, though. Penalty kicks for Sacramento, hung right in there against Kansas City. Yeah, they, and, and they've done it on the road. They beat Galaxy on the road this season. and Obviously, playing at home was a huge boost in that game and going all the way to penalties against an MLS team and ultimately getting yourself to the final. I mean, it, it's hard to get to a cup final, and, and let alone a USL team against some of those budgets that MLS teams have. It's, it's truly incredible, and it's, it's going to be a fun one to watch. Yeah, really, really impressive run. Guido, gonna send it for Conway. It also goes to show you the quality that, th that this league has as a whole. I mean, Sacramento is a good team, but you know, they are in the standings, a middle of the pack Western Conference team. And, and, and these two teams, you know, I don't think anyone can really argue are the top two teams in the West. And so could have been one of them, you know, that, that had pulled the Cinderella run and, and got to a final, but um, it's Sacramento at the end of the day, and I think a lot of USL fans will be rooting on them to get the cup set. Yeah, what a wonderful opportunity. The US Open Cup in general is a brilliant opportunity for everybody. Yeah, all the way down, all the lower divisions yep. in, in US soccer. I was lucky enough to play in a Open Cup final against Kansas City, and. 2017. Unfortunately, we, we came up short in Kansas City, but that whole run was, was a lot of fun, and obviously it takes sometimes penalty kicks and extra time, and a lot of things have to go your way, and a lot of hard work, so credit to Sacramento. Across to the back post here. PC will pick it up. Gomez for Dylan. Down to the touchline, it will go to San Diego. Justin Dillon's leading scorer on the year, six goals, six assists. Formerly with the Seattle Sounders. San Diego running into him with Tacoma. And so far, this game's pretty much gone how, how we expected it to. You know, obviously, the score sheet says that San Antonio is kind of winning the battle, that they're keeping it at zero, and that's you know what they're good at. So. Until San Diego can put some goals in, I would say San Antonio is kind of, especially being away from home, they've they've kind of, I guess you can say, have them right where they want them. Stoneman making the run for San Diego. And so indeed, through the first 44 minutes, league's best defense has kept it level. And a clean score sheet for both sides. And on three minutes of stoppage time to our first 45. Yeah, and you don't really have to watch many of San Antonio's games. You could have just tuned in and watched the first 45 in this to, to, to see how good they are defensively. I mean, the numbers they get around the ball, the quality that they have defensively, and the discipline.
Instead, you see San Antonio. They've attempted around 100 passes, and they're actually less than 50% successful at completing those passes. So in, in, in comparison, that's a very low number throughout a soccer match. Here's Guido pushing. Guido out for Blake. Playing with the right foot. But that's not San Antonio's game, right? Possession's not the game. 50% or lower pass completions. They yeah. recover so well defensively. Yeah, it's a lot of just, as soon as you win it, got to go long. Sometimes bounces go your way. It's, it's honestly not the prettiest at times, but sometimes prettiest isn't always what gets you in first place. We're in the stoppage time in the first half. Draws contact. Adams. Elijah Martin stays with it. Trying to leave it for Colin Martin. And a whistle here as Adams grabs the jersey of a dinner in. Yeah, and I think that's a it's a smart foul from Kyle Adams there. I mean, he finds himself pretty deep, you know, as a, as the last center back covering the center forward. You don't want to be too high with kind of runners running beyond you, and I think he knows he just needs to end it there. And, deal with it and obviously not to get the yellow card as a bonus. Blake for Among. Among looking to make the run. It'll be a goal kick. Yeah, and that's that 1v1 defending that, you know, uh, some teams in the USL, you know, a lot of teams, I shouldn't say a lot of teams, but you know, teams have those few guys on every team that can do those type of things where they can make a play individually. But I just don't know if that's what it's gonna take tonight. It's, it's just so hard to beat in San, San Antonio that way. I think they, they just need to somehow just keep the game on the ground, play simple and play quick. You know, and just try to shift the San Antonio team around as much as they can, try to get them unorganized. That'll do it for our first 45, a scoreless first half of soccer tonight from San Diego with these two great teams, the two best in the Western Conference, battling to a scoreless draw in the first 45. Yeah, and like I said, I mean, San Antonio's pretty much played it to a T. This is what they, it, it, you know, this is what they want it to look like. San Diego, this is what they want it to look like, but the score, score line suggests that San Antonio has had the upper edge. They want to keep it at zero, and that's been the case. San Diego did not have a sh an official shot on target in that first half of the one great look from Among, but it is scoreless here at the break. Top two teams out west battling from Torero Stadium. This is why these kids, these happy, healthy kids, they're the reason Rady Children's Hospital in San Diego was the first in the world to use ultra-rapid whole genome sequencing to diagnose and begin precise treatment for a critically ill baby in just 13 hours, taking a family from desperation to treatment. Because at Rady Children's, your kids always come first. When the quality of life and life itself is at stake, when the right diagnosis is critical, you will find Quidel. We are leaders in the medical device industry, and what we make impacts lives for the better. 
That is our purpose, our passion, and it drives our people to accomplish extraordinary things. We are Quidel, advancing diagnostics to improve human health. And foods. We are inspired by the vibrant culinary lifestyle of the Baja Med and of course by avocados. From our flagship avocado oil to our family of dressings, mayos, simmer sauces, and guacamoles, the versatility of all chosen foods avocado-based products offer you the freedom to be both healthy and creative in the kitchen. Join us in the sun-drenched utopia of chosen foods. The avocado celebrated. No score here. Nil nil at the break. San Diego and San Antonio. A great first half, but nobody has broken through as we take you from Torero Stadium around San Diego. I'm Taylor Fields, and I'm the founder of Nostalgia Coffee Roasters. Today, you are actually in our warehouse here up in Miramar, where all the breweries are. And this is where we roast coffee, pack coffee, make our cold brew. Pretty much, this is HQ1 for the company. <laughs> Taking up all the sense right now. <laughs> all of our coffee is uh, direct trade, like direct relationship coffee. Uh, a lot of coffee companies will say that it's direct trade or direct relationship, but we're actually meaning it. So we just got back from Colombia, we just got back from Brazil. So we're spending time with our producing partners and we actually are trying to change the way that coffee is purchased. So instead of buying it through the commodity and depending on the commodity market, we're actually asking the producer what they need as a thriving rate for their coffee, is what we call it. So for our team, we pay a thriving wage, for the coffee, a thriving rate. So it means how much do they need per pound of coffee to continue doing what they're doing, innovating, and make sure their community is doing really well. The other big thing is supporting minority-owned producers and minority-owned farms. So the way we're doing that is seeking out like women-owned coffee companies, coffee farms around the world, which is really, really rare to find. Yes, you guys can totally Yeah, yeah. No, oh, it's really nice. I'm looking for companies to partner with that are growing and buying San Diego, like their home base, proud of the city, proud of our cross-border relationship. So just like you guys with a lot of fans and the overlap with Mexico and the US, our biggest trading partner is in Mexico for coffee. So it's a huge relationship to us and important. You guys are growing, we're growing. So I'm really excited to yeah, grow together and put San Diego on the map for soccer and coffee. I learned a lot today, for sure. Didn't know much about coffee beans or which one I was buying. Next time you're in the shop, you know, picking one off the shelf, you know, you know a bit more about it now, mm. so that will hold me in good stead for the future. Do, what are you going to be looking for now? I'm going to be looking for <laughs> yeah. the glory days. Yeah, Anything yeah, that yeah. says glory days on <laughs> yeah. it, I'm all over that. Yeah. We all have goals. But let's be honest. Most of us aren't going to be professional athletes. But if your goal is to finish your degree, we can help. Come to a university that puts your goals first. Bellevue University, your partner in finishing goals. I'm on real team.
summers on, Brian. that were just so perfectly yeah, summer. Brian, come on! The people, the places, those moments are still out there. I'm Brian. Waiting to be found. Ready, Brian? Summer won't last forever, so make the most of it during Toyota's national sales event. Now you can lease a powerful yet fuel-efficient new Camry for just $3.29 a month. And like every new Toyota, it comes with Toyota Care no-cost maintenance. Come in today. Toyota, let's go places. Scoreless after the first 45 tonight at Torero Stadium, the top two teams in the Western Conference, San Antonio and San Diego, with a great matchup, one of the best we have seen here in the regular season. Coming up tonight, we are knocking on the door of the second half. As we told you, Sacramento, September 7th, is going to face Orlando City in the U.S. Open Cup final. Huge congratulations there as they advance. Yeah, and we touched a little bit on it during the broadcast, but how cool is that? A USL team able to make it all the way to a final and potentially win it. I mean, I'll be watching this for sure on September 7th. I'll be on ESPN Plus, 5 o'clock Pacific time on September 7th, the Open Cup final midweek contest here in USL and MLS. On the scoreboard here, at the half Colorado Springs, Orange County won a piece. Monterey Bay's coming here on Wednesday. They've got El Paso here tonight. Yeah, you see Loudon getting a win against Galaxy 2, and Galaxy 2 is one of those teams like in that playoff cusp for the West. Yeah, the top seven make it out of the Western Conference. First team gets a bye which is huge as well. It's where San Antonio is at the moment. And as we look ahead. At Orange County and Phoenix. Yeah, normally that would be a pretty big game yeah. out west, but both teams have, have struggled a bit this season. Obviously, Orange County having Milan and Lowski having a great season, leading the golden boot race for Orange County. but. Uh, both those teams want to be at the playoffs at the end of the year. Yeah, San Diego native Vilaski. He, like Alejandro Guido, like Mitchell Tanner, that MVP consideration. And again, these are the Western Conference standings with San Antonio seven points ahead at the moment over San Diego. Yeah, and this is a big one. As I've said, if San Diego ends up losing this one, they're 10 back. If they're able to get a win, you know, they're, they're four back, and it becomes a little bit more realistic. Those are the official standings. Here are the power rankings at uslchampionship.com. Numbers three and four here behind a couple of Eastern Conference teams. What do you think, Sal? Yeah, I think, you know, I think Memphis can, can be a little bit higher. And, and, you know, Tampa Bay at one is, is an interesting one. I think, uh, you know, Louisville has a little bit to say in San Antonio and even San Diego Loyal. Big time matchup here tonight. We're headed to the second half coming up next. This is why these kids, these happy, healthy kids, they're the reason Rady Children's Hospital in San Diego was the first in the world to use ultra rapid whole genome sequencing to diagnose and begin precise treatment for a critically ill baby in just 13 hours, taking a family from desperation to treatment. Because at Rady Children's, your kids always come first. When the quality of life and life itself is at stake, when the right diagnosis is critical, you will find Quidel. We are leaders in the medical device industry, and what we make impacts lives for the better. That is our purpose, our passion, and it drives our people to accomplish extraordinary things. We are Quidel, advancing diagnostics to improve human health.
scoreless in our first 45. San Diego and San Antonio, two best out west. Matched up at Torero Stadium here this evening. Let's take a look at our first half highlights beginning in the 15th minutes. For these two clubs are right back at it. Yeah, and you see Maloney just getting a little bit of space, hitting that, that cross off the post. Yeah, and Coke Vegas as well to ultimately hold it. Could have maybe done a little bit better to not make it so close, but uh, ultimately he does what he needs to do. That was one of the best attempts for either side in that first half. And for yeah. San Diego. Yeah, I, I think, and then you just see kind of, you know, a lot of half chances, right? I mean, Jack Blake here, kind of like with the half volley, he's trying to hit a short hop here with his left foot. There's been a few nice crosses, but ultimately I'm just, you know, and we're both just sitting here just a little bit in awe just how organized San Antonio is defensively. They're, they're so, so hard to break down. And then here you see a lot like that recovery just defensively. And obviously the possession numbers are, are as expected. And, and a stat that's not in there is, you know, San Antonio has only completed of their 100 passes, you know, they only have completed 51%, which is very, very low. I mean, maybe the lowest in any game this season for any team. In comparison, Loyal has 82% successful passes, so um, it'll be interesting to see how this all plays out. We are scoreless at the break here. San Diego will have Monterey Bay on Wednesday after tonight's Saturday evening contest, and then it's a bunch of games on the road the rest of the way. Something like seven of the last 10 for Loyal are on the road away from Torreo Stadium. Yeah, and that's going to be a tough stretch, and that's going to you know, be a telling sign on how this team is going to do postseason. It's so close, you know, where you're starting to kind of gear up during the playoffs. You want to just be peaking at that right time. And I think these games are going to be a telling sign, you know, how they come out of all that. At the start, though, with Monterey Bay at home here, meeting them for the first time this coming Wednesday at 7 o'clock. And for San Antonio, they've got a bunch at home coming up here three in a row. Yeah, and, and, and certainly, you know, those look like some, some winnable games. You know, you have three at home. And so San Antonio, I mean, if they can pull out a result tonight they they may be leaving a lot of teams in the dust and like you mentioned that first seed in the west is so important getting that getting that by um you know obviously just not having to play a team in the first round is huge the number one team in the western conference gets a first round by the other six have to play that first weekend which is deep into october but san diego here right now is in a stretch where they're playing nine of eleven at home then they'll finish out with seven out of 10 on the road. A beautiful night here at Torero Stadium. Just gorgeous. Yeah, the Loyal is going to need their fans behind them on this one as they're now attacking the fan bases for the San Diego Loyal. And trust me, as a player, you definitely feel that buzz and you want to attack the fans. Uh, in the second half, I just think they, they give that little extra. And certainly if you can score a goal on that end, uh, there's a lot more celebration and hype. And so, you know, it's, it's something that uh, maybe the fans don't realize, but the players just certainly like to be attacking that, that end in the second half. San Diego will be going toward the east goal here at Torreo Stadium, which is right in front of all of these supporters sections. Another great crowd in attendance here tonight as well. 72 degrees. As we start the second half, so the sun has set. It's a gorgeous night. Warm last couple of days in Southern California. And a beautiful setting. Nearly 5,000 in attendance here for this matchup of the first Two teams in the standings. Number one, San Antonio. Number two, San Diego. We've got 45 more left to go tonight. Here at Torero Stadium, Loyal will possess first. 67-33, two thirds of the possession went to Loyal in the first half as expected. San Antonio, not a possession focused team. Quick, disciplined counters. And of course that's Incredible backline defense, only giving up 15 goals in the entire season, where San Diego has scored 49. Hey, 
number one scoring team in the league. And the best defense in USL matching up here tonight. Scoreless at the break. Tomas Amon. Now Dylan will have a chance. Ahead for a dinner in. And Kyle Adams will take it away. Now Kyle Adams does well to just delay, delay, and he obviously knows he's left footed, so. As we mentioned, great attendance here tonight. Just under 5,000. 47.56 at Toronto Stadium. Tanner. Right ahead, Blake. Dito, what a great first touch. And right to Moon. Moon, down the line, off the side of the net. I mean, what a wonderful turn and pass from Alejandro Guido. You know, at, at times you don't even know how he, how he sees these passes, but he's checking long before that ball even comes to him. And Nick Moon just, just does a little bit you get a little deflection there, and it goes off the side net, and it'll be a corner for Loyal. But it's that quick passing that hopefully can unorganize San Antonio and can ultimately lead to a goal for San Diego. Corner kicks brought to you by San Diego Community Power. Sent in. Looking back post. Headed high. It's just over the net from Kyle Adams. And that was always going to be a tough one for Kyle Adams, kind of running backwards there, just trying to get a flick on, and just goes over the bar. Yeah, when you're backpedaling, it's just so tough to get power on that ball. Dylan. Colin Martin back to break things up. Blake down the line for Guido. Along the move with a cross. And the bomb goes high. Uh, Loyal really just trying to capitalize on one of the few moments that San Antonio had a miscommunication down here on the left. As, Lo as Guido laid that off to Jack Blake, he continued his run, and, and both players converged on Jack Blake. And so obviously he laid it in front of Guido, and it led to a very good goal sc scoring opportunity for Thomas Mong at the end. Colin Martin back to it. Moon again with a run. Adams. Charlie Adams, the San Diego captain. Stoneman there. Again for Adams. Good sliding stop for San Antonio. It was Maloney who got in front of it. Yeah, like I said, Maloney all over the field, just always finding pockets and ways to help his team. Now into the stands and go to San Diego. But these chances for San Diego, you can kind of get a sense that they're starting to open up San Antonio a little bit. San Antonio may be coming out of the second half a little bit more unorganized. Could have been a tactical switch for Loyal. Maybe it's as simple as just playing a little bit quicker, playing what you see. But as this game wears on, certainly, as you see a giveaway right there, it benefits the Loyal. Charlie Adams. Moon for Guido.
Gomez will push this time. A dinner in. And Adams, great sliding stop. Rocket League's been reimagined for mobile devices. Hit the pitch one on one, two on two. Easy to pick up and play from anywhere. Scan the on screen QR code right now. Download Rocket League Sideswipe using the on screen QR code for Rocket League. from a Mong to keep possession. Yeah, Mong just looks so casual at times when he's on the ball with some space, but that little quick burst of speed that obviously he has confidence in himself to, to make there. Stoneman on the switch looking for Moon. Good first touch. And we'll go out for a San Diego corner. And yeah, Nick Moon, obviously, he's just been so dangerous down that, that left-hand side. But you saw Charlie Adams at the corner of the box. when he After he took that first touch, he decided he wanted to take him 1v1. But as I said, I think if, if you're just playing quick and you're just playing what you see, I think that'll be the Best chance to unorganize San Antonio. Adams quick and crossed right in front of net. Oh, and that just looks like it comes off of two players there, Stoneman and then and then Among. Stoneman looks like he maybe could get a good touch on this on goal, but it just skips past him and the reaction time for Among is just a little bit too fast. Best opportunities that San Diego has had tonight. Well, if San Diego keeps a clean sheet here tonight, even if it's a draw, Fans will get a chance to win a $300 gift card to the SD Loyal Shop, courtesy of HES Solar. Enter to win tomorrow morning at SD Loyal on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at San Diego Loyal. On Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at San Diego Loyal. Chance to win a $300 gift card to the SD Loyal shop, courtesy of HES Solar. If there's a clean sheet, a shutout here tonight for San Diego. here it's a good ball in it'll go wide Tanner Elijah Martin is there for San Diego against him on. Sal brought the point earlier about San Diego pushing a little bit more here to start this half. Five shots already in the first eight minutes of this second half after just six the entirety of the first half. Garcia will have the restart. And these are the type of plays that San Diego Loyal needs to stay strong with. Right to Vegas. And Loyal does well there. 
they have a very high line on some of these set pieces, but something they they work on a lot during practice, sometimes even three times, two to three times a week. Just trying to perfect those set pieces because 30% of all goals scored in soccer come from set pieces, so it's a big part of the game. And we're gonna get a whistle here against San Antonio. It'll be a restart for San Diego, so 30% off set pieces. Corners, free kicks. Corners, free anything. kicks, penalties, yeah. And so obviously, why not work on it 30% of the time? <laughs> yep, that is true. Yeah, I always wondered about that. It was a certain number of corners or a certain number of restarts, whatever it is, but 30% total yes. from set pieces. On average. Yeah. Obviously, some teams, it could be as high as 40. Going side to side. Conway ahead for Moon. Swung in. It falls to Blake. It was a good first touch and then volley from Blake, but it was taken down back for Martin. Adams. But it does feel like San Diego's having more opportunities. Yeah, and as much as, you know, sometimes you want a guy like Nick Moon on the ball 1v1 or Thomas Among, I think in this game you'd almost prefer Charlie Adams on his left foot in open space. I mean, that's, in this game, just as dangerous. The way you can cross the ball, put it in a dangerous area, it's just as lethal. And it'll be a corner for San Antonio. Again, Kyle Adams doing pretty well. Maloney able to get out of a sticky situation there with Alejandro Guido and plays a nice ball with his outside of his right. But you see it just, they win the ball once, they get into space, and they're playing a through ball. It's, they're not messing around with it. They're not playing sideway passes or back passes at I bet you in training they, they do a lot of sessions where they're not allowed to make back passes and it just kind of trains the mind to, to play that way. And so you see it all over the pitch. Baby and Garcia. Just trying to find a dinner in. Long, just play it wide. Yeah, Long just trying to hit it off the player and have it go their way, but just misses them. And so at the end of the day, it just looks like he just boots it out, but <laughs> you can kind of see what he was trying to do. Blake and Martin. Back possession for San Diego. So we'll go to San Antonio. San Diego does have a lot of firepower on the bench. Nobody has more goals from substitutes in USL than San Diego this year. Of course, somebody scored more than San Diego overall with 49 goals on the season, but nine have come from substitution goals, which is the most of any USL team as well. And that's a really impressive number. That's something that it's very hard to do as a player to mentally just check yourself into a game and not only play well, but really make an impact on the score sheet. And it's because they have so many good attackers. And some of these attackers that are on the bench are, are worthy of starting spot on, on most USL teams. San Diego has two of their top three scorers available in Kyle Vassell and Tumi Moshabane should land in Donovan's shoes. 
as we go past the 60th minute. Back to it. And we are going to get the substitutions now. Subs are brought to you by Quiddell. And for San Diego, for the first time since the Colorado Springs game at home, Kyle Vassell returns from the shoulder injury for San Diego. He'll replace Tomas Among up top and Tumi Moshibane with six goals and six assists on the year, replaced Jack Blake. Landon Donovan going with Moshebani and Vassell into the contest, scoreless in the 62nd. Yeah, and I think what you're gonna see here is, is Evan Conway kind of play more the wing back slash right winger role in there for Blake, and they're gonna push Tumi Moshebani. And, and he'll be a little bit more, you know, I, I wouldn't call him a forward. I think he's gonna be like a dual 10 with Alejandro Guido, and when you have a guy like Kyle Vassell who can really just occupy the, the forward position by himself. And, and honestly, I think this game suits him more than it did maybe Among because he's probably used to, to a team that plays this style, playing in the lower divisions in England, League One, League Two, the championship. You get a lot of these style of teams where they're just big, strong, they don't really care about possession. Okay. Certainly it's his first game back, so. It'll be interesting to see how he does. Yeah, he'll go to the final 30 here for San Diego. Substitutions are brought to you by Quidel. So he's coming back. He was injured early in that Colorado Springs match. So he's essentially missed two and a half contests for Loyal as he comes back now. Yeah, and, and obviously Loyal has been able to get results, you know, without him. And, and that's, uh, you know, key and and shows the, the quality of depth you have in your team. But certainly he's he's one of Loyal's, you know, best attacking options and, and if they are going to make a playoff run and ultimately try and win the USL championship they're, they're going to need him healthy in the playoffs. Sells top 10 in the USL. He's got 10 goals in the season. Also had one ruled an own goal against Hartford or else he would have had 11. Had been one of the leading scorers on the season before the injury. San Diego's call for a handball, and they will get it. Yeah, and that one could have, I think, kind of gone either way, but I think Vassell's reaction and, and ultimately the, the supporters' reaction here at Torero Stadium was able to get that call. Let's see here. Yeah, I think I think that's a that's a good call just just off his bicep there. Great look from our crew here on site at Toronto Stadium and back in the studio. Colin Martin. The restart for Loyal. Now Elijah Martin pushing. With the cross, headed down, taken by Conway. San Diego. They're looking for the sign. There it is. Bit of confusion there, but Elijah Martin taking on his players, just letting him dribble into the box, but puts in a great cross with his left foot. Evan Conway just in the right place at the right time here. He does a snap header, comes back to him, puts it in the back of the net, and this could be his fifth game winner now if, if the score stays like this. Yeah, and as you see, the ball clearly over the line by a few yards. San Diego goal brought to you by Rocket League. It's been reimagined for mobile devices. Scan the on-screen QR code, download Rocket League, side swipe here today, go one-on-one, -on -one, two two-on-two with Rocket League as Evan Conway notches his seventh goal overall for San Diego, his sixth in the USL. Four game winners. A lot of those late 
a beautiful run from Elijah Martin. He notches his seventh overall for San Diego. Yeah, it's, it's incredible because, it, you know, they just moved him from the forward position to the right wing back role, and he's still able to get on the score sheet, which, you know, it's significantly harder when you're playing in that position to, to get a goal, but he's in the right spot. He puts a nice snap header down hard. Goalie makes a nice save. Nicky Hernandez is going to come on. On loan from FC Dallas, he will come on for San Antonio. Substitution brought to you by Quidel. Following the goal, remember there's a little bit of confusion. We saw it clearly on the replay that it was crossing the line, but there was a little bit of initial confusion. The bench for San Antonio was issued a yellow card. That was after Conway's goal. So it is 1-0 San Diego on Conway's seventh of the season, sixth in USL action. You know, we talked about Flags up here. Yeah, and you know, we talked about how comfortable San Antonio feels in a game like this when, you know, the game is still at 0 0. They have that shutout. Well, now it's 1 0, and this isn't a position that San Antonio is used to throughout the course of this past season. So it'll be interesting to see that. Are they going to come out of their shell a little bit? Are they going to kind of hold their ground? You know, uh, surprisingly, Phoenix has beat them twice this season. Them and, and Sacramento are the two teams that have beaten them. Beautiful move from Guido. Straight on, Guido, that for Conway again, on the run. And that time, San Antonio's defense was able to recover. Colin Martin. Yeah, and that was a big time recovery from Gomez there. Conway take a great first touch. What looked like was past him, but this is Dylan. That's Coke Vegas out to it. This will be yellow for Hernandez, who just got into the match. Nicky Hernandez on just a second ago and picks up the yellow for San Antonio. Coke Vegas has been so good with his decision making really throughout the course of this whole season on like when to come out when to hold his ground and sometimes you know from up here you have that vision you're like oh man he's really going for it but then every time he's getting to it and that's an impressive that, that's what you want from your goalkeeper someone that's just making the right decision when to hold and when to go full steam able to break that play up and then lead to the restart for san diego so loyal have broken through here the league's best scoring team has notched their 50th of the campaign. 50 goals on the season for San Diego, including the latest from Conway, who's had a knack for game winners. There's Vassell. PC with possession. Garcia. And down the line to Hernandez. Quick whistle against Martin. And again, the, these are the moments that SC Loyal needs to be needs to be wary of. There's some big boys on San Antonio, and so you certainly don't want to give up a goal after going up one nothing on a set piece. Restart for San Antonio. And Conway clear. Yeah, and that was never going to get called there. So stay with San Antonio. Single match tickets, by the way, are on sale now. They start just $12 a match. That includes the one coming up this Wednesday night, 7 o'clock, Wednesday the 10th, against Monterey Bay FC. SDLoyal.com slash tickets for all the info. Let's start just 12 bucks. Tanner. Setting in with the left foot. And Vegas will let it go. Again, okay, Vegas' awareness as a goalkeeper. Where players are at all times, where his goal is. just gaining more and more confidence every game that he suits up in a little jersey. 
20 minutes left to go here. It's been a great battle between these two sides. Guido, great one, two. Vassell, and wide for Moon. Moon for Vassell, down the line! And Farr comes out. A very nice sliding stop to force the corner. Yeah, Nick Moon with a, a great ball. Everyone in the stadium thought he was going to line it up with his right foot. He just plays a teasing ball into Vassell. Right there, and just he's able to... Yeah, Far, Fair makes a great little save there. Just closes down the angle. Vassell can't really do much from there, so they earn a corner. San Diego going ahead on the Evan Conway strike. The feed from Elijah Martin. This one sent in. And hit it in! San Diego! One more time for Stoneman! Off another set piece. That's 2 0. Alejandro Guido just putting it in a dangerous spot, and it was that little deflection at the start that. It was able to get to Grant Stoneman's head, and he made no mistake about it, putting it in the back of the net. Just a wonderful snap header there. Grant Stoneman in his second straight game. The brilliant head goal. Back-to-back -back games for Grant Stoneman to put one in net. San Diego goals are brought to you by Rocket League. Scan the on-screen QR code, download Rocket League Side Swipe here today. One-on-one, -on -one, two two-on-two, Rocket League reimagined for mobile devices. That's the second San Diego Rocket League goal of the night. Grant Stillman in back-to-back -back contests for Loyal. And both of the goals have started as set pieces. This one all the way through, Vegas! Off the back heel! Right to the near post! Yeah, and that's a huge moment right there for Loyal. You don't want to give up a goal and make it 2-1. You're, you're comfortably ahead, 2-0. You want to prolong this lead. With only about 20 minutes remaining. It's a great look from Dylan, San Antonio's leading scorer. But Vegas held his ground. And now Guido will draw the restart. Jimmy Moshevane, first touch is coming as a sub for San Diego just before the first goal for Loyal. Play back for Conway. To me. Making the turn. Toomey will just make you tizzy with his left foot. Wow. I'll play it back. San Diego Loyal match days are the ultimate setting for your next group outing. Entertaining clients, company outings, or friends and family. Nothing like match day for San Diego Loyal at Torero Stadium with your group. Group tickets start at just $10 a ticket. And come with plenty of extra benefits as well. Penalty kicks afterward, photos in the field. SDLoyal.com slash tickets, 858465 goal. You can also email tickets at SDLoyal.com. SDLoyal.com slash tickets for your group outing starting at $10 a ticket. You know, I said it'd be interesting to see how San Antonio comes out of this. You know, just even having allowed a goal, they're just not used to it. And I think you're starting to see the game open up. I mean, San Antonio has to score a goal, right, to get back in this. And leaving them a little bit more unorganized in the back, and I think you're going to see Loyal continue to take advantage of that. Evan Conway will pick up a card now for San Diego. Yeah, San Antonio has only allowed three goals in the last eight matches. They've allowed two tonight. Yeah. In all their losses this season, they have not been able to score. I think they've lost one nothing two times and 3 nothing once, so... They haven't been in too many high-scoring affairs where they've been scoring, and the games that they've scored in, they're typically able to get a result. In.
Been a substitution for San Antonio. Abdul Salam will come in. And Manley will check out. Substitution brought to you by Quidel. And Garcia will have to restart off the substitution. It's Vassell getting up there for San Diego. He wins back possession. Here's Guido. Trying to push numbers ahead. Guido, when he was looking for Vassell. Great thought. Moon for Vassell. Right away the right foot. There it is. One more time. Vassell just a new match. His 11th of the year. You don't want Kyle Vassell receiving the ball at the top of the 18. He's going to find space to put it in the back of the net, whether it's through the defender's legs, catching the goalie off guard. It's just, it's a wonderful finish, and he's done that time and time again this season. It's a great goal, and another great pass from Nick Moon, who's been excellent all game. San Diego been missing Vissel. And they become very familiar with these kind of strikes. He is so good in that tight space with little windows going across his body. So many players in front of him able to block it, but he's just able to get it through these players, and it's not by luck either. He's a, he's a smart finisher. He knows how to hit it through defenders' legs, and when you're able to do that, it just puts the goalie wrong-footed. It leaves him wrong-footed, and welcome back, Kyle Vassell. San Diego goals are brought to you by Rocket League. Download Rocket League Sideswipe here today by scanning the on-screen QR code. Rocket League for mobile devices. Rocket League Sideswipe in the third Rocket League San Diego goal here tonight. And as I mentioned, I mean, now that San Antonio needs to score, things are starting to unravel for them. They're not as organized. They're not as dedicated, right? To, to everybody defending. They need to cheat a little bit. They need to they need to throw some numbers forward because if it ends like this, obviously it's ending with a loss. So it's a big hill to climb right now though. Down three nothing in the 79th minute. San Diego's now scored more goals this year than the entirety of last season. Came in as the league's leading offense. They put up three more here tonight. Here's that counter from San Antonio. And now a whistle. We'll go against San Diego. If you're looking for flexibility and a great deal on SD Loyal tickets, select three or more of the remaining home matches here. In fact, there'll be four left to choose from. Get a flex plan with some exclusive benefits. SDLoyal.com slash tickets lock in your flex plan here today. I think this is a huge statement win for San Diego Loyal. Garcia. Sending it wide, and it will go to San Diego. We're going to get two more subs for Loyal and for Landon Donovan. Making his 150th USL appearance is Jack Metcalf tonight. He will come on for Nick Moon. And Camden Riley will also come on for San Diego substitutions are brought to you by Quiddell as Riley comes in for Charlie Adams. Yeah, both of these players coming off the pitch tonight were integral and in getting this potential win against San Antonio. Nick Moon was excellent all night up and down the wing, constantly getting himself in dangerous spots. And I think towards the end of the game, he realized, you know, he didn't have to beat so many players 1v1. He was just getting himself in good spots, driving with the ball, and he was playing wonderful through balls and dangerous passes in the final third. So Riley for Adams, Metcalf for Moon. Jack Metcalf is only 78 minutes away from 1,000 for his career. USL, 150 
appearances now, including tonight. Gomez out wide. Well, again, San Diego's coming right back home here. An incredible moment tonight with the three goals against the best team in the league. And they're coming back home Wednesday against Monterey Bay. All tickets for Wednesday night are half off. DJ Ophir is performing. SDLoyal.com for tickets. They're half off for the midweek contest on Wednesday against Monterey Bay FC for the first time. And after this moment tonight for San Diego, they're right back at it. Now, a long one from a dinner and just getting a fingertip on it was Coke Vegas to keep things what a shutout. Yeah, another huge save there. That's not an easy save to make. And Dinner and hits it well. Coca Davis gets down and deflects it out for corner kick. Line to the air, but this is going to be another corner. We'll repeat it. San Diego with goals from Grant Stoneman in back-to-back -back games from Evan Conway and from Kyle Vassell who's matched his career high for a season at A level with 11 now. Yeah, you just see Alejandro Guido just cramping up here. Not, he does so much running while on the field and with and without the ball and defensive work. And, I would have been cramping in the 58th minute with <laughs> knowing how much he runs. That's to be a goal kick for San Diego. Oh, no, we'll do it again. One more corner. All right, so it'll be a corner for San Antonio one more time. So a third corner attempt. Tanner cleared. Up to Vegas. San Diego with three more goals, 52 on the season. Vassell sets it up. Riley for Kino. That wide for Metcalf. On the cross. We get another substitution for Loyal, brought to you by Quidel. Andrew Carlton's going to come on for Alejandro Guido, who had been cramping up there for San Diego in the 85th minute. Three goals tonight. See the supporters giving him a round of applause. Another wonderful match from Alejandro Guido, assisting on the second goal. Continues the MVP type season for yeah. Loyal here in the USL. Yes, most certainly. Exciting player on the ball. He always seems to make magic happen when it's at his feet. So Carlton is just on now for San Diego. Back from Oshibani. So, Riley, Carlton, Moshevane, in the run, back for Metcalf. Metcalf on the cross. Great first touch from Vassell. It'd 
be a goal kick for San Antonio. Looking at different banks and Union Bank was able to look at my potential when no other banks would lend to me. San Diego, three goals to none. A dinner in and this will go all the way back to Vegas. Don't miss a bit of the action here in 2022. On the road or at home, nearly every second of the USL Championship is on ESPN+. Plus. It's home of the USL, MLS, La Liga, the Bundesliga, UFC, and plenty more. Sign up at plus.espn.com today. Conway making another run. Conway. Oh, trying to find it back to Vassell. Unselfish look back for Vassell. Yeah, that's very unselfish of Conway. At first I thought pass, but then as he kept dribbling, I thought, why not? Why not go for that? But it was Carlton making a turn there, Carlton. Yeah, and Carlton starts that all with a lovely through ball to Conway, and he certainly has quality. And Russell and a Yellow for Colin Martin has been issued. If you can't watch the match, you can listen on Sirius XM FC Channel 157. It's North America's only 24-7 source for soccer talk. It includes USL All Access. Tuesday nights, 7 Eastern. You know, live matches from the USL, MLS, the English Premier League. It's all on Sirius XM FC Channel 157 and the SXM app. Must be nice to bring in players like Jack Metcalf and Andrew Carlton in the 82nd minute of a match. These guys are played a lot of games in their USL careers and are they you know they know what's at stake and they know how to close out a game. This be a goal kick for San Diego. Up three goals to none. We're here in the USL championship. With 113 teams entered and two remain here. The 2022 USL League Two champion crowd, Ventura County Fusion hosting Long Island Rough Riders. For information on how to watch this one, go to USLLeague2.com. That's USLLeagueTWO.com. Right after this, San Diego, by the way, is coming back home on Wednesday. Monterey Bay FC. After the second half, Vassell ooh, went the long range. In fact, on the ricochet, he <laughs> that one go toward net. Now you think he's confident when the ball's at his feet right now? It's already not. his 11th of the year. How huge is that? You know, a, a two and a half game absence, and your first game back, you're kind of able to get right back into that groove of scoring goals. and. Gives the coaches confidence to kind of put you back in. Gives yourself confidence when you're on the field. There's Conway. Yeah, I mean, that bodes really well for San Diego. Just ahead of Carlton. A dinner in. And Camden Riley does well to come back to it. There'll be three minutes of stoppage time added on here. Three minutes as San Diego leads 3 0.
Carlson ahead for Vassell. Moshabane. Tumi's still fighting for it. Yeah, how great has Loyal defense played the last few weeks? And we certainly doesn't go unnoticed in a right. game like this. Right, we talked a lot about San Antonio's defense. Conway. He just doesn't stop Conway. 92nd minute. Hasn't been subbed out and he's playing wing back and he's just getting up and down, up and down. And not cramping, which is an impressive feat in itself. here. Right back to San Diego as we wind things down tonight. What a matchup we had between these two great franchises. Yeah, and what this game does is really just give San Diego a chance to get that top spot in the West. They've proven they can beat all the top teams in the West now. They've beaten the Colorado Springs. After tonight, they will have beaten San Antonio. Here's the dinner in. Out of the line and taken away. Kyle Adams had a heck of a night. Yeah, it's not easy dealing with a dinner on, and he's just been able to delay, delay, force him to his not so comfortable right foot, battle with him in the air. All around really good performance. And that'll do it in this matchup with the top two teams out west. It's San Diego who comes out on top. Three goals to none here at Torero Stadium. Yeah, we talked about which team would budge, and, and it looks like it. San Antonio couldn't live up to the to their organized defense. San Diego Loyals attacking prowess just Bled through all game. An incredible matchup here tonight. Fourth consecutive victory for San Diego to tie the three year club record. Yeah, and they're just able to do it in so many ways. If, if this defense keeps playing like they have been during this run, the sky's the limit for this team. And I don't think there's any team that would want to face them in the playoffs. Evan Conway is our chosen foods man of the match here tonight. Picking up goal number 76 in the USL and another go ahead goal for Evan Conway. Yeah, another game winner for Evan Conway. Totally deserving chosen food man of the match. And this is going to be our goal of the game. The run from Elijah Martin for Evan Conway. And it's brought to you by Rocket League. Action-packed video game combining soccer with rocket-powered cars. PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, PC. All of it for Rocket League. Evan Conway and San Diego get the three nothing win. The result here at home 46 points on the season, just four out of first place in a first round by San Diego with a three nil victory here tonight. It's time to get moving with the financial partner that's here for your journey. From small steps to big milestones, USC Credit Union is here for you. 
with tools to help you bank fast, solutions to help you go far, and a team of dream makers that's ready to help you step forward with confidence. USE Credit Union. It's a win for San Diego and three more points, and it's a shutout for this great defense in Coque Vegas. The clean sheet brought to you by HES Solar. San Diego Loyal with a shutout tonight. Now fans have a chance to win a $300 gift card to the SD Loyal shop. Enter to win tomorrow morning on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. It's at San Diego Loyal. At San Diego Loyal for the HES Solar clean sheet of the game. And speaking of Coke Vegas, it brings us to our save of the match here tonight, brought to you by Stone Brewing. Your newest year-round beer is Stone Buena Mesa Salt and Lime Lager. Stone may build their reputation on IPAs, but Buena Mesa is a little different. They're refreshing Baja-inspired lager, brewed with salt and lime, perfect for cookouts and the summer sun in San Diego. Visit find.stonebrewing.com to track down a six-pack or a case of Buena Mesa near you from Stone. Evan Conway, well-deserved honors from the supporters here in San Diego. What a run he's been on lately, huh? USL League One MVP, straight to Loyal, and now having a great season at the championship level. Six goals in USL, plus the one in the US Open Cup, and nearly all of them have been game winners for Loyal. Well, this started out in this First half, it was scoreless, nil-nil, and then everything changed for San Diego in the second half. Yeah, and I think once Loyal was able to break through right here, Elijah Martin going on a wonderful run, just finds a little bit of space to put a floated ball. And Evan Conway, remember, he's, he's coming from the right wing back row. I don't know how he finds himself up there, but he always finds himself in a dangerous spot, gets another game winner. You see, they didn't know if it was officially gonna be Called a goal at first, but clearly passed the line. Out yeah. of the 72nd. Yeah, and just this little deflection from Alejandro Guido goes perfectly into Grant Stoneman's path. And he makes no mistake, he puts it in the back of the net. That's two games in a row now. Conway and Stoneman have scored for San Diego Loyal. It was capped off by the return of Kyle Vassell, a true difference maker for San Diego. Yeah, Kyle Vassell, we talked about it. For San Diego Loyal to go deep in the playoffs, they need a guy like him to be on the pitch, and, and this is why. I mean, that's just a, a wonderful goal that only a select few forwards in this league can make, and just finds a little bit of space, finds a spot to put it in, and buries it. Three goals all in the second half. Obviously, we knew the possession would be that way. But look at the shot totals completely flip in favor of San Diego. Yeah, and the, the team that has scored the most goals in the league continues against the best defensive team in the league. And obviously, the possession numbers are what they are. Doesn't necessarily tell the sign, but 18 shots on goal, I think that's a pretty good indication that the Loyal were all over them in the second half. And Sal, you're absolutely right. Credit to the San Diego defense. We talked so much about the best for San Antonio in the league, but San Diego has been great of late, and obviously that was the case here tonight for Loyal. Well, how about this? Coming up, Monterey Bay for the first time. San Diego will be going for a franchise record fifth consecutive 
win at home here at Torero Stadium. Yeah, and, and the key word in that is at home. I think under these fans at Torero Stadium, anything's possible. They can beat any team as they've shown tonight, and they're a confident bunch right now, and I don't see them not getting three points. Wins at home against Colorado Springs, Rio Grande Valley, now San Antonio, adding in the road contest against Orange County. And against Monterey Bay, it'll be a fifth in a row if they can pull out a result on Wednesday night. As San Diego gets the win here against an amazing franchise in San Antonio. Yeah, credit to San Diego Loyal. Like I said, I think it was a statement game. Gives them a little push that maybe they can get first place in the West and get that by in the playoffs. A huge victory here tonight. San Diego in this matchup of the two best in the Western Conference comes out ahead. 3-0 is your final tonight from Torero Stadium. This copyrighted telecast of the United Soccer League Championship cannot be retransmitted, rebroadcast, or reproduced without the expressed written consent of the United Soccer League Championship.